Hey Jess, welcome to the support squad. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for having me. Of course. I know we've been connected for so long. I mean, just in communities on Instagram and all of that. And I've been following you forever. And um, it was a while back. I said, who should I have on the podcast? And I can't remember who in my community said it, but someone was like, if you want a tech VA, you have to talk with Jess. And I was like, I know who that is. So I'm just thrilled to have you on the podcast today. So welcome. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah. So to start, I would love if you could just tell us a little bit about yourself. I know I love to hear people's journey into entrepreneurship, what led you into the online space and into becoming the tech VA, Kartra specialist that you are now? What has that journey looked like for you? It's been a wild ride. So I actually learned about being a virtual assistant through this webinar. You know, someone was targeting mm -hmm. me with their Facebook ads <laughs> and I ended up buying a course. And it was a big investment, something I had never really done before. And I started learning, diving in, but I was a teacher at the time and I had this stable job, you know, I enjoyed it, but I knew there wasn't a lot of potential for growth and getting into this course just opened my eyes to this whole new world but it took me a long time to actually make it happen. So I bought the course and I didn't even get started till a year and a half later. Oh, wow. Yes. I was, <laughs> I was scared to leave the, you know, the health insurance, um, the, right. you know, the paycheck coming in and there's no guarantee that I could make it as a virtual assistant, but I decided to do it. I had my second child. And after that, just trying to teach and handle that was too much for me. So I left and I actually taught online for a little while, but that wasn't working for me either because I was teaching kids in China and I had to get up at like three or four in the morning to teach. So I was like, this is not working. And I was like, I took another look at the virtual assistant course. So I was like, this needs to happen. I can have my own schedule. I can make as much money as I want. I mean, it's really limitless and you know, I know I'm smart. I know I can figure it out. So I jumped into it and it, yeah, it was a crazy ride. <laughs> Amazing. I love that it took you a while to get started, but that can happen sometimes. Sometimes an idea will get planted and it takes a while for it to come to fruition. But I know for so many virtual assistants, it's like when we first get targeted with that ad or we first hear that word virtual assistant, like something clicks in us where we're like, this could be for me. <laughs> and I also love what you said about the the income potential and how it's kind of limitless in an un online business. That's something I've been talking a lot about with like my husband and my family recently. It's just like, um, when you're in a career, even if it's a great career where there is opportunity to grow, you're still limited in some ways where in the online space, it's like truly limitless. Like you can, you can scale your business so much. So I know that one of the big ways that you've um, scaled your business and like up leveled things is by focusing more on like tech services, um, like Kartra. And I got to be honest, I don't know hardly anything about Kartra. So I'm so glad that you're here. <laughs> Could you tell us what Kartra is and how you've used it in your business and, and how you offer it as a service? Yes. Yeah, so I actually got started with Kartra by working with a client, you know, I was just a tech VA. So I was really helping everybody with whatever systems they had. And Kartra is this huge all-in-one system that a lot of entrepreneurs, especially coaches and course creators have been moving to because it has so much capability. And I mean, it has websites, landing pages, you know, e-commerce, you can have all of your courses in there. It has a great email marketing system. So it's a really great, just all in one system that people can use to, I mean, save money because they don't have to pay for all of these separate platforms and just having everything in one place makes your life a lot easier. Totally. Yeah. I, I haven't used Kartra. So I, that's really good to know. That's something I didn't know about Kartra. I assumed it was more like a CRM, but it's like an all in one 
like similar to like Kajabi, would you say? Yes. And that's awesome. definitely the, the biggest competitor. For yeah. So I use Kajabi in my business. And, uh, and so I, I always say, you know, the system that works for you is the right system. So I'm sure they're both great. Um, but what I love about having an all-in-one system like that is just not having to keep track of so many different things at so many different places. I really see the value in that. And I know that working with, with coaches and course creators, of course, they love that too. So tell me, what is it about Kartra that may be different than Kajabi or different in other programs that you just really like or that your clients really like? Yeah. So I think the funnel capabilities is a big oh, one. Yeah. So it's really cool too, because Kartra actually has all of these done for you campaigns. So the funnels are kind of already there, the frameworks for them. You can click a button and launch them into your account and all of the assets will just be there and you can tweak them to fit your needs. Oh, but, I like the sound of that already. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I mean, they have a ton and you can find the ones that, you know, you want and that can work for you. So it's a really great uh, feature that they have there. Um, but yeah, overall, it's, it's incredible. Lots of capabilities. That's amazing. Yeah. Funnel creation is huge. I'm all about automating everything I can in my business, creating those funnels. So that, that is so cool. So what kinds of clients, you said you work with a lot of coaches and course creators, what kind other kinds of people do you feel like are drawn to Kartra services or what are some of like the favorite projects you've worked on with clients? Yes. Yeah, so my clients are I think they're all coaches, but they also have <laughs> courses too. So it works really well. So I help them set up a lot of like membership sites. So mm -hmm. if they have the recorded courses, I'm helping them add it to the portal. I'm helping them design the portal too. So that's something that I feel is a more popular service. Like people want these really pretty membership portals branded and, you know, they want their you know, upsells in there and whatnot. So helping them just create a really nice space for that, that's functional. And then, I mean, all of their funnels they're creating. So I have clients who are constantly like, I have this new idea and I'm like, okay, what do we need to do? And I'm helping <laughs> get it set up. I'm taking, you know, what they have in their brain and I'm making it happen with the tech. And it's, it's so much fun. I really enjoy, you know, that capability with Kartra and also having to figure out how are we going to do this? How are we going to set this up? It's complex thinking, but it keeps me on my toes. <laughs> Yes, I know. I've worked, I worked with a lot of coaches, not as a tech VA. I like, I enjoy tech, but my mind doesn't always work that way. But I loved working on teams with like super serious tech VAs and watching how they can like take, take an idea. Cause you know, coaches and visionaries, like sometimes it's like a lot swirling around. And I love seeing tech VAs really translate that into like tools you can use, especially into cool, like all in one stuff like Kartra. So how fun is that? I love that. So for you, did you take any training to learn Kartra or is it something that you learned on your own? Yeah. So learning it took a long time. So I yeah. started by, you know, working with a client. She didn't really know how to do all this tech stuff. And I was this techie VA. So she was like, will you please help me with this? So I jumped in there. I started learning just by doing and slowly started figuring out more and more. I definitely made mistakes because it is a complicated system sometimes. And there are a lot of different components that you have to think about and piece together. But the more, you know, I started working with her, more clients started coming to me for Kartra services. And then I was like, you know what, this is a system that VAs need to learn because it has so much potential and there are so many different services you can offer with it. But not only that, it is a system that is newer, but it's growing rapidly. and Not a lot of virtual assistants use it. Yeah. which was crazy to me. Like if you go into the Kartra Facebook groups, whenever you see job opportunities, the same like five people mm -hmm. will comment. Mm -hmm. Like where are all the Kartra VAs? 
Yeah, that's what's amazing about learning like one program or one software like that is you can really become like that shining star. I've talked to other VAs that have become experts in like some of the lesser used thing, it, it, like stuff like HoneyBook, it's becoming more popular now, but I've known people that kind of got in at the beginning and like being able to dive in and become like know the ins and outs of a program like that is so incredibly valuable. So I really see how that's helped your business so much. And so, of course, I'm so excited um, not only to have you on the podcast, but you're also going to be our guest expert in the Support Squad membership this month, which is just so exciting. Um, we've never had someone ex as experienced or experienced at all in Kartra in the membership before. So I'm so, so excited for you to introduce um, this program to people a little bit more. Can you tell us a little bit about what you'll be sharing in your training with us in the membership? Yes, we are going to dive into, you know, what is Kartra? I'm going to show you around the platform Ooh. and show you how you can learn Kartra and find clients for Kartra. Yay. I love seeing like the, the behind the scenes stuff. So I'm super, super excited about that. So I know everyone's probably going to want to follow you, find you, connect with you. Where do we find you? How do we work with you? What, where, where are the best places to reach you? Yes. So I have a Facebook group for virtual assistants who really want to learn more of the tech side of the business mm -hmm. and it's called become a tech VA. And then I'm also on Instagram at tech dot with dot Jess. And I'm also on YouTube tech with Jess. Oh yeah. Yeah. I love following you on Instagram. You're super active and so informative. So definitely follow her in all of the places. And then the one other thing I love to ask my guests um, when they come on the show is what is something about you that's totally separate from your business that lights you up, that you enjoy doing? So like a hobby or just something that you love to do? Yeah. So I am a hardcore soccer player. Oh, um, nice. <laughs> I played all my life and I started getting back into it as an adult. And I actually, oh, you know, that was fun, but also I tore my knee up because I oh, thought I was young no. and oh. <laughs> but I'm recovering now. So all good. And I'm ready oh to play. Gosh. <laughs> That's so amazing. What a fun thing to be able to do because you can like meet people. It becomes so hard as adults to meet people and like get out there like that. So I feel like sports would be such a fun way to do that. I am not very sporty and I would definitely hurt myself, but I'm, I'm very supportive of you doing that. I've known friends that have done like, um, what's it like the bocce ball, like old people sports, but, um, soccer, that's pretty, that's pretty hardcore. <laughs> it's pretty it's, awesome. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Keeps you, uh, moving and in that exercise. Yeah. Well, I am so grateful for you coming on and sharing some of your wisdom today about Kartra. I know for a lot of people, this might be their first time hearing about, um, hearing someone talk about Kartra in that way. So I'm really, really grateful for you to coming on and sharing that with us. And I can't wait to learn more from you. Well, thank you so much, Sharon. This was yeah. so great. I appreciate you bringing me on today. Yeah, of course. Thank you. <laughs>